Hey guys. Hope everyone's okay and had a good day. <clears throat> so, I want to talk to you this evening. So I'm just going to give it a minute and um, wait for some people to hop on. I'm just going to close the door actually. Um, hey, hey guys. Hope everyone's well. So, um, I am going to talk to you this evening um, about courage, about bravery, about the importance of it, about the impact it will have on your life. Wendy, I've had a tan and my lashes done today. I've had a proper glow up because, well, because I've wanted to, but we're having um, photographs taken at the weekend. So, I thought I'd go all out. Thanks. I do feel like I'm going on holidays. I'm like, oh, I feel like I've got a tan. Um, it's out of a bottle, though. It's out of a bottle, or the Keely spraying machine. Um, but I want to talk to you um, tonight about courage and the importance of it and the impact that it will have on your life and your business and probably um, something that you've not really thought about in depth before because I certainly know when... I, until I started like, you know, really focusing on it and really looking at the impact and the different types of courage that we as humans um, embody and uh, possess, um, it's just me really mega interesting. And it's stuff that I've uh, read and researched before. And it's something that I've been covering on my um, high performance course that I've been doing. And it's, you know, the purpose of, like I said, of me doing that course was me to was to come in and share with you guys and help and share any knowledge or value that I'm learning there and pour that into you guys. So hence why I wanted to come on and talk to you this evening. So um, this week's Zoom um, that we did was all about courage. It was an hour long uh, session and we broke out into breakout rooms and we spoke to other people and we were um, set questions. So I'm going to, I'm going to pose those questions to you as well um, to give you a moment of reflection and like think about um, a time in your life when you've been courageous and the impact that it's had on your life. Um, but I'm going to kind of, instead of being like, woohoo, cheerleader Laura, I'm going to try and like really strip it back and really talk about um, the importance of it. So I think you'd all agree. I think you'd all agree. So firstly, if you're watching this live, obviously you're live, say hello below. If you're watching this on the replay, write hashtag replay in the comments so I know when people are seeing it. And if this is going to go on my YouTube as well, so if you're on my YouTube channel, hello, uh, nice to see you. So um, what I want you to do is think of a time, like in your life, hi my love, when, no, hang on, I'm going to come to that in a minute. Back to the beginning. Do you agree? So you, you basically can have all the business knowledge in the world, you can have all the productivity, all the strategies, you've created new habits, you know, you've uh, built a team, um, you've, done all, you've done all the things, you've got sales, but would you agree, none of that, like none of the things would have happened in your business or in your life if you didn't cultivate courage first. You can have all the systems in the world all, so I hit some love hearts on the thing if you agree. Like everything in your life, every decision, every every action that you take comes from having that moment of I'm going to be brave and I'm going to do this. So any growth in your life or in your business, you can't have any of that first without being brave because it's all a knock on effect of having that like five, four, three, two, one moment and going boom, I'm just going to go for it. And this is why I love, and I quote this all the time, and I know you know how much I love Disney and Cinderella, but Cinderella, have courage and be kind. I honestly believe if you live your life by those principles, you literally can't go wrong. Like, have courage and be a kind person. Everything else will just be a ripple effect off that. Everything else will just fall into place. And genuinely, honestly, and truly, they are literally... Like words I live my life by. So, because it takes courage to grow, it takes courage to change, it takes courage to chase your dreams, it takes courage to ask people if they were interested in buying a product or if they're interested in the business. And if you don't follow, there's um, a guy called Brendan Bouchard and he, oh, have courage and be kind, like literally the best film, like best line from a film ever. 
Um, there is um, a high performance coach called Brendan Machard, and if you don't follow him on Instagram, go and follow him because he's absolutely incredible. I've followed him for years. And they did a study, Brendan Machard um, cultivated a study of high performance individuals. And one of the essential high performance habits that they, you know, these people had a lot of business knowledge, they had a lot of skills, but one of the things that they deemed the most important factor, one of one of the six most important factors for success in business and in life is to be brave and have courage. And there's different types of courage. So you've got physical courage, social courage, moral courage, and creative courage. And I'm going to talk about those in a minute. But what I want you to do, first of all, is just take a moment and this is where I want you to kind of like strip it back and think about this on another level. So think about a moment in your life when you felt really courageous and like really brave. And like, if you feel like you wanna share it in the comments, then share it in the comments. If you don't, then just think about it to yourself. But think about a time in your life when you felt really, really courageous and that you were doing something like really, really brave. And when I was asked this question, what I, what I said was it wasn't, I feel like I've done a lot of things in my network marketing journey that have been brave, but I actually took it back to when I first, very, very first left my corporate job to go and study to be a fitness instructor. I was technically self-employed for six weeks over the summer holidays while, cause my kids, there was no point in my, I was paying out so much money for my kids to go to childcare. So I spent the summer like studying, I didn't go out, I did. I literally, for six solid weeks, studied and drove around the M25 to a gym to be assessed to train to be a fitness instructor. And there were people in my life at the time who very clearly didn't understand my goals and my vision, and um, this, uh, this, is gonna, this is gonna tie into something else I'm gonna talk about in a minute, and made their opinions very clear to me that I, if I didn't want to go up, so basically I cancelled plans because I was staying in to study for my exams and some people that were in my life at the time, that didn't go down very well, let's just say that. And, but for me, it was really, really important and I believe, I honestly believe that that moment of bravery in my life where I actually went, you know what, I can do this, like I can work for myself, obviously Dan was working full time at the time, but I can, I can do this, like I can... I can be brave, I can do this, I can work for myself, I can, I was starting a business completely from scratch, I had, I was gonna, I was like going out, finding holes, getting insurance, getting all the things I needed to do, setting up my own, I wasn't working in gyms, I was gonna set up my own fitness business. Being a surrogate has been my brave, oh my god, I'm really doing this moment, such, such a roller coaster of emotions, Marie. Honestly guys, if anyone feels like they're, again, are brave enough to share in the comments, let's, let's, Let's inspire other people with moments when we've been brave because honestly, it will inspire other people. It really, really will. And it in that moment of bravery. So, Marie, that's really brave of you now for sharing it in here because when you start to cultivate these emotions, other people, it's going to have a ripple effect on other people and you will inspire other people. And that moment there, I've just read that and that's literally given me like goosebumps because what a phenomenal thing to do. What an utterly selfless brave, courageous thing to do. But that is gonna have such a huge impact on your life and on the peop on the people's lives that you're gonna impact by doing that. So honestly, I take my hat off to you. That, like, that's absolutely incredible. Guys, if anybody else feels like, you know, they wanna share in, uh, in the comments a time when they felt brave, like that would be incredible. So coming back to what I said. So I remember six weeks studying, taking my exams, driving around the M25 every day. I had to drive my children because we didn't have anyone like close by to look after the kids. So uh, we, I drove the children up to Lincolnshire to my in-laws to stay there because Dan obviously was working full time. It was an absolutely crazy time. I was studying like all hours around the kids, um, but I did it and I passed my exams and I remember just a feeling of, oh my God, like I did it. I was really nervous. I'm not, I'm comfortable in like a, um, cause I did my exercise to music qualification years ago, but like I'm comfortable in a exercise class environment. I'm, I, and even now I would walk into a gym. I don't really know what weights to lift. I don't really, but I had to do that. Like, well I do now cause I'm, I'm, I've 
pass my exams, but that was not my comfort zone. What stepping into that open plan floor gym in it was near Wembley. I didn't know anybody on the course. Um, I was really scared, but I was like, do you know what? I've got to do this, and I honestly feel by doing that, that moment there that has had such a ripple effect, and from that, from then on, other decisions that I that that I've, I've, we've then made in our life as in like going into network marketing obviously I've t I taught my classes for four nearly five years um and then grew grew my sensi business and there then came a point when um I obviously decided I was a star director I was teaching six fitness uh, seven fitness classes a week and working as a waitress and doing sensi and a midday assistant in my kids school I did only last six weeks there um and something had to give and oh no sorry that was at the beginning by the time I got to um by the time I got to being a star director I wasn't doing the other things I was um teaching my fitness classes anyway I was literally running myself into the ground and something had to give so I we made a decision as a family that we knew the impact that if if I went all in on my sensor business and I stopped teaching my classes, then I knew if I was all in, then like the what would happen, and that is what happened because it was it was a hard decision and I loved my clients and I loved teaching my fitness classes, but it wasn't just um, it wasn't just you know, a few, it wasn't six or seven fitness classes a week, it was learning the choreography, it was all the admin that came with it, it was dropping Finley off to which I, it was, I, and doing that, and building the business, I'd got to a point where I was like, right, something's got to give, and again, you can imagine other people's opinions on that were not always met with support or encouragement, you know, what are you doing that for, you wasted your years studying, da 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 da, absolutely not, absolutely not wasted my year studying, because every, um, Everything you go through in your life is another like string to your bow. It's another chunk piece of your armor. It's another it's another part of you and your story and your development. So I don't. There's no regrets in life. I'm going. Probably sounds proper silly to lots of people, but passing my driving test, I was so absolutely petrified of driving. But used to but used rescue remedy to get in the seat. I thought I would be sick with fear, but every time. Oh my God! Exactly, Lisa. This is what I'm talking about, and that is 100%. Exactly. You've literally hit the nail on the head because you were you were nervous and you but look at the impact it's had on your life by being able to drive like that's phenomenal and from that moment of bravery you can then say to yourself do you know what i did that and i was really scared so if you're then met with a circumstance going forward you can then say do you know what no take yourself back to that place i've done it i've been here before i've ripped off my plaster i've done it it's absolutely incredible and again everything starts with courage and being brave so Again, the next question was, what was going on at that time in your life and how did it make you feel? So that's what I mean. When you think about these moments in time, when you were brave, when you, when you took that step out of your comfort zone, and you, how did it make you feel when you'd achieved the thing that you were being brave about? Absolutely incredible, I, I, could imagine, I would imagine. Like, absolutely amazing. And we are like... We're made, of, we're emotional human beings. We're meant to feel emotions. We're meant to feel exhilarated and passionate and excited because that's, that is, that's life. Like all them incredible emotions are there for us to experience. Why would you not do the things that are going to make you feel like that? So, and what could you claim in your future if you were more courageous? If you cultivated more courage in your day-to-day -day life, what what impact would that have on your life? Just think about that for a minute. Like what if you were if you felt you could be more brave and cultivate more courage in your day to day life? What impact would that have on your life? Huge, like absolutely huge. And it doesn't always have to be. It doesn't always have to be, you know, big massive things. It could be reaching out to somebody, you know, a stranger that you don't know, saying hello to somebody when you're in the shop in the morning buying a paper or buying some milk, or you know, asking, reaching out to somebody about the business or reaching out to somebody about, it doesn't always have to be big, massive things for you to be brave about. There are going to be moments in your everyday life when you have to be brave and the absolute positive impact that that will have by doing it 
like going live, you know, and people, so many people say that they're scared about going live. When you do it, every, there's not one person in four years of doing this that I've spoken to, or six years with, with my other business as well, there's not one person that I've ever spoken to when they're finished that goes, oh, we should never done that. They're like, oh my God, I feel amazing. Like I've achieved something absolutely phenomenal. And that's what, that's what courage does to you. Because when you do it, it's like, it's a muscle. It's a skill. Nobody is just, you don't just wake up like like that it is it's built by doing something over and over and over but it starts all in the beginning with being brave and and knowing that you can do it so i'm going to talk about the, the four types of um courage so the first one is physical courage so that you might that might sound a bit like weird to some people like what does she mean physical courage but basically by challenging so by challenging so everyone's going to be like different levels of fitness here. Everyone's going to be different levels of what they what they do with their body, how much, how much they move their body. Um, literally had to go live in my first week. Oh, I knew I never would. I'm so glad I did because that's how I got my most interaction. Yes, Jess, absolutely incredible. And it is so utterly true. The interaction you get because do you know why? Because we, like we've said hundreds and hundreds of times, every single consultant that joins Sensi has exactly the same products. No one else is you so your sense is the product you are your brand you need to let people see you and then they fall in love with you and your relationship with sense and your life with sense and that is what builds businesses so that's absolutely incredible my love so your physical courage never ever forget or miss un or not understand um the connection between your physiology and your psychology so what i mean by that is your physical how can I put this? There's so much more scientific terms I could use with this. But basically, if you feel fitter, healthier, stronger, that is going to have an effect on your mental health on your on and on cultivating courage. Because when you feel like fit and healthy and strong in yourself, that has so, it has a it's like it's science. It has a direct impact on your mind and your mindset and your outlook and and your courage and what you're going to do. And if you're feeling confident within you, that is going to have such a ripple effect on your life. So I'm not saying everyone should start going out running if you know, but it, what I am saying is, loads of people, unless you actually have like a physical reason, you can't you know like like for example, and I'm not like sugarcoating any of this obviously like my mum wouldn't be able to go out running because she has a physical reason why she's not able to however there are people that are very physically able to run that just say yeah I can't run well, you've never tried like you don't know I don't know like there are martial arts boxing I don't know mountain climbing there's loads of stuff I've never tried I don't know if I'm any good at it because I've never tried it but I would never say I'm no good at it until I have tried it so what how brave you are with your physical courage is going to have such a knock-on effect to everything else in your life and again when you do that um it, it's going to have a ripple effect into the other types of courage so the next one is social courage so that one pretty much speaks to itself when you're in like social situations when you're around other people when you're having conversations with other people sometimes you know you're gonna have to be brave and just but again, the more you do something, when you're out and about, like smile at a stranger, say hello to somebody, say good morning. Because when, when I go out in the morning running or walking the dog, there uh, since we've moved here, there are a couple of people that I've seen, I don't know them, and then sometimes we'll walk to school and I'll be like, oh, morning, you're right? And Harry's like, who's that? I'm like, I don't know. I just see them on the morning and I say hello because it's polite. And he's like, oh. Like, and I'm trying to teach them that, and I know, like, yeah, obviously we say to our kids, you shouldn't speak to strangers. But when you're an adult, you know, like, be brave. If you're stood in a queue with somebody, you know, they literally are, when, and let's, let's take this back to the business, there are billions and billions. And when people say, like, there's loads of consultants and there's not enough people in the world, that's why, like, it absolutely doesn't wash because there are billions and billions and billions of people in this world. If you stood outside on your street and all the cars that went past, tell me how many people in them... Oh, there's an order there. Tell me how many people in them cars you know. Probably none of them. Like, literally, every single stranger in the world is just a friend you haven't met yet. Every single stranger that goes past is just 
a potential customer, a potential teamie, a potential new friendship. Like, the, like every single day we get up, there's untapped or untold opportunity in your life. So, and again, I fully understand that takes social courage to, to do that. Um, and again, please know, like, this is something that has taken taken time and years and years of, like, you know, I danced ever since I was, like, five years old. I've stood on stages, stand me on a stage in front of, like, loads of people. That wouldn't bother me. But being in small social environments, standing up and doing a sensi party years ago, oh, my God, that would, like, be my worst idea of hell. Not hell, but do you know what I mean? Like, but now, I absolutely love it. And, and... In the beginning, I did get a little bit nervous because you have to learn these things. But the more you do something, you're going to get better at it. And now, genuinely, genuinely, honestly and truly, I can't wait to stand up in a room and talk about Scentsy again. Because the stuff just sells itself. Once people start smelling it, um, you know, it does it for itself. So social courage. Being in social environments and social situations. The more you do something and the more you know, you step out of your comfort zone and the more you have those conversations with people, just try it. When you're next out, if you're waiting in a queue in a coffee shop or instead of like, you know, looking down at your phone or looking down at your feet, smile at somebody, start a conversation and then you just never know where that might lead. Um, creative courage, that's the last one. So let's let's liken this to your business. Um, again, people will say, people, I've heard, like, I heard this all the time, like, I don't know how to use Instagram I don't know how to do this, I can't do this, I don't know how to do this. All of the above that I've just said, you do, you just haven't learned, you haven't... I didn't know how to use Instagram when I started, but I had to be brave and go out, like, go on the internet and find out and watch videos and learn how to use it. And, again, I did an Instagram Live yesterday showing the... Um, oh, and this is true story, and this wasn't planned, but I'm going to say... Um, I did an Instagram Live yesterday showing the um, Spider-Man fan... And when I got to the end, and I left it on there, and I could have deleted it, but I was like, no, I'm going to leave it on there to show, like, you know, I'm a real person. When I got to the end, I couldn't work out how to turn it off. So if you go onto my Instagram, on the end of the Instagram live that I did, I'm on there going, I don't know how to turn this off, guys, but I'm just going to own it. Like, I didn't know what, I didn't know how to turn it off, but I was just like, oh, oh it's all right. Do you know what I mean? So going live on Instagram, I've been live in here loads of times on my customer group. Going live on Instagram, I still get that, like, heart-pounding, little bit nervous feeling. But all the incredible things in your life are on the other side of that feeling. All the phenomenal things that you're ever going to do or you're ever going to achieve are on the other side of that heart-pounding, adrenaline-pumping feeling. Because that is your body, like... It, it, that is like that's like your body telling you like this is this is a good thing go on you can do this I believe in you you can do this so that's creative courage so that's just one example so be creative like be brave with with what you do with, with your marketing and the last one is moral courage and I think this is such an important um thing to think about or or to work on not just in your business but like as a human being and I honestly 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 of all the things that personal development has done for me, and I was talking to um, when I had my when we could have people around in the garden, and I had the girls around for the first night. This is something we actually we actually talked about. What of all the things that I believe that personal development or network marketing has given me is the courage to be like authentic and live life from a place of true honesty and true authenticity and protecting my energy protecting who I am and being true to who I am because I honestly believe if you are true to who you are regardless of whether everyone else in your life agrees with that then that's like true freedom and let me just elaborate on that a little bit in living that way and in learning about you know moral courage and being brave in these situations like morally there are people now, or there are people that five years ago, three years ago, even two years ago were in my life and are now no longer in my life because it, it, it wasn't a big argument, it wasn't a big drama, but there were people that brought nothing to my table but anxiety, made me feel a bit crappy about myself um, and I honestly learned that 
there's there's a saying that I heard a few years ago and it's literally stuck with me and it's like if you're not changing it you're choosing it I'm just gonna say that again if you've got something in your life that is not serving you and brings nothing good into your world if you're not changing it you are choosing for it to be there so if you're not changing it you're choosing it so if there is somebody in your life that mocks you brings you down drags you down it's not going to be an easy conversation it's really not but you i cannot tell you if you have that moment of being brave and like i said it doesn't have to be i've had two conversations in my adult life with people that i literally said look i think we're done clearly you know our friendship has come to an end i wish you really well in your life but i just think it's best we go our separate ways twice i've done that in my adult life and both times i cannot tell you as the days and the weeks and the months went on and that negative source that was in my world is no longer there the you just feel free and and, and also you're living a life of being authentic like you're living a life of uh, and being true to yourself because if you're responding to somebody or spending time with somebody that does absolutely if you if you if you have someone in your life that you're spending time with and you do and you come away from them and you just feel drained and and uh, you know what I'm talking about right you know what I'm talking about I don't I'm, I, I feel like I'm articulating it well but what I mean is not every conversation you have in your life is going to be an easy one but sometimes being, being brave and having the uncomfortable conversations is going to set you free and sometimes like I said, doing that and realising that actually it's going to be all right. And that's just life sometimes. Like not everybody, not everybody that's in, in your life is going to be there forever. And that's okay. You know, people evolve and develop and grow and, and take their own paths. And that's absolutely fine. Not everybody has to be there forever. Completely understand what you mean. I made the decision to cut my father out my life. He was, he was horrible to me and gave me so much. See now. Gemma, I had no idea, my love. And... I'm just sending you a massive hug and you know everybody has to do everybody has to do what is what is right for them and only each individual person knows and it's such a um a personal thing and and these weren't people from my family these were these were friends but it, it doesn't matter like nobody nobody has you know the right to make you feel like that and like I said if if we all have a choice basically we all have a choice every day this was me yesterday and it's never as bad oh emma oh my god i'm so glad i'm so glad that you've written that in the comments because um without going into detail you know yesterday you had to have a conversation that you know you could have felt uncomfortable with um i could have <laughs> um and um and everybody involved in that situation you know was was adult about it and had a conversation and it was absolutely fine and you were nervous and you were scared but you did it and you ripped off that plaster and you're here and I'm so excited that everybody's cool and it's all good and everybody's happy. Um, and, you know, people are going to, there are going to be going to be things and obviously later I've, I've seen what you've just written my love and I, and I, I can't say that that's something that, uh, you know, when I had Finlay I did, I did have a, 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 not Finley, when I, after I'd had Harry, I had a bit of a dark period where I'd spoke to my doctor and stuff, but I honestly, honestly and truly believe, like I said, by, I'm no doctor, but all I can ever share is what I feel has brought goodness and good energy into my life, so, you know, like I said, exercising, drinking lots of water, you know, surrounding yourself with, with good people, freeing yourself from things that don't set you free, they all take bravery, they all take courage, but honestly and truly, when you become aware of the huge impact that that will have by being brave and, and taking these steps forward um then honestly yeah, it just will have such a ripple effect on, on every other area in your life so i hope that that has made sense i hope that it's given you some food for thought and some things to think about because like i said everything else creating new habits developing influence gaining customers gaining teamies none of that will happen would happen if you're not brave, first of all, and sometimes, whatever the circumstance in life, you've just got to have that moment of being brave. And once you've done it once, you'll do it again and again and again and again and again, and you'll realise that actually, um, again, there was a saying I heard once. It said like, if it if it won't, if it won't matter in five years, is that it? If it won't matter in five years, don't worry about it for more than five minutes. And it's so true. 
It really, really is. And like I said, please, I'm not claiming to be like superhuman and I don't have, you know, moments of, of doubt and fear and ev everybody does. Honestly, it doesn't matter who you are, how much, you know, how long you've been, but I've now learned the strategies to help. So I'll just give you one more example before I go. Um, the first time Holly Baker ever asked me to public speak at a Sensi event was in Manchester and um, I'd just found out I was pregnant with Finn so not many people knew I was I had really bad morning sickness and Holly had asked me to uh, talk about earning, earning an incentive trip but she told me that she was going to interview me on stage so never ever spoken at a Sensi event before big Sensi event in Manchester big stadium stadium you know what I mean arena full of people I'm stood on the side of the stage thinking Holly's going to interview me because I didn't really know what what we were going to talk about I was going to and then just before we were about to go on stage she said actually I'm not going to interview you can you just go on stage and talk for 15 minutes I had no notes I had nothing prepared I looked probably green because I'd been being sick in the toilet that morning but another moment where I, I literally can picture it now if I close my eyes my heart started beating I could have I literally could have gone to a uh no I can't do that but I was like no come on Sarkin you can do this pull up your big girl pants and do it and I did it and I don't really remember what I talked about I think it was all right I got some good feedback afterwards and that's and once I'd done that the next time she asked us to speak when she asked Lisa and I to do the um, presentation in Amsterdam at SFR yes I got nervous and anxious but I also got excited and we planned that and we had a brilliant we had um obviously a presentation and slides and all that kind of jazz and we did it but the morning the morning we got up in Amsterdam oh my god everyone thinks oh Laura Salkins, Lisa Allwood, mega confident we were nervous I'm telling you we were stood in that room on the side of the stage with our microphones we must have checked the the system about 20 times we were, we were nervous but we did it because that is that is just how you develop and grow I felt like that the first time you asked me to come live in this group I know a lot but now look at you and now you just like you do it all the time and like you go live in your group and and exactly and that is growth and that's when it happens SFR Essex I cannot wait right that's one last thing yeah so um I've been to the venue today I've had a look at the screens it's gonna be amazing we're not at capacity yet so when I get off here I am going to print off everybody that's paid and booked and cross-reference it to everybody that has um that's registered on the workstation for SFR um and if you if there's additional people since last night that haven't had their email to book their place then I will be sending that out um so yeah mega mega excited for our first post-covid um co post-covid event so right I'm gonna go guys lots of love I hope this was helpful and remember have courage and be kind see you later